Merry Christmas, Paul and Linda. I just thought I'd give you a little background on how I came up with this piece, which Paul commissioned me to do. I'm so happy to have done it, and, and uh, hopefully I rose to the challenge. This is an example of being creative with limitations, which is actually quite freeing. And just to give you a basic idea, Linda, you're going to probably know more or understand more about this. I'm assuming, that, uh, Paul, since you're a musician. Uh, so, Do, Re, Mi. Everybody knows that song from the famous film, The Sound of Music, right? Do, a, dear. So each note in the musical scale is assigned a number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it starts over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what I can do is I can take uh, dates, numbers of any kind, and use that as a starting place, an inspiration place, a place to start. Those are my limitations to create something around that. And sometimes I stick really close to it. And sometimes it's just a jumping off place. In the case of your piece, um, there's three large sections. You'll hear a big improvised section at the top. Then the second section is going to be where I'm playing the dates. Basically, you're going to hear the first little section is the wedding dates, the wedding date. And then Linda's birthday is the second section. It sounds kind of classical. So when you hear like a real classical sounding thing in the middle, that is the section based on the wedding date, 6-9-1967, and then Linda's birthday, 7-31-1945. So, um, and the way that works is I basically I'm, I'm using the root note. So uh, 6 in the key of D would be this note, right? And then building a chord on top of that. And then 9 is, all, is, this, is also the same as 2 in music. So, so 2 would be the E building a chord on that, and then one and nine, and nine, nine again, sorry, am I doing that right, yep, and then six would be, I decided to go this kind of thing, and then seven, I use a flat seven, so it sounds like that, so, which is a Neapolitan chord in harmony classical harmony. So there's how it, how I constructed it based on some those numbers. It's kind of like the DNA. It's it's existing in the background. You're not really aware of it. Kind of like, I guess, punctuation and grammar and spelling. Um, but hopefully that adds some more meaning to your piece when you listen to it. And the third section is just a melody I came up completely by ear in the shower, and I thought it would be great for the uh, presentation that Paul has prepared. So... If you have any questions, let me know. Please share it with all your friends and let others know that Karen and I are doing these and we're hoping to build more of our business based around this since we can't really perform. So, uh, well, we can perform some strings in the woods, but that's about it. Hope to see you guys soon. Enjoy. Merry Christmas.